Okay. Ooh, that's screwed again. Maybe this will bring good things. The Sims busting out. Well then. Well, it didn't quite come up as a request, but it was on the request list from Hacker, so we'll go with that. And this is now the second time that a request has come up. Well, not necessarily a request, but you know, something that he requested that he was not actually around for. Okay, so... So we have Casper, some kind of jaundice, and, well, some kind of incredibly lightly African-American. I don't know, maybe that's the normal skin tone for a sim. It's kinda hard to say when the other options are so yellow you wonder if you even have a liver and you know, virtually dead. Let's go with virtually dead and move along. How is a hat a hairstyle? Very, very limited hair choices. I'm leading towards afro. Hmm, nothing interesting. Bright red. All the range of options here, wow. That's a nice color. And that's kind of hideous, but maybe. some okay options for pants colors here. And of course, shoes is also just colors, not style, so sure. We're gonna go with this, and not really much... Oh, well then. We have stats. Guess, um... Points towards that. that. Sure, why not that? There. That'll work. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Uncle Hazy. Oh boy, forgot how this started. So yes, these Game Boy Advance Sims games are all kind of sort of a shadow of the Sims series, in that we do have, you know, our single main character here who has all the regular Sims needs, except instead of, like, building houses and communities and managing a lot of people, we only get just this one, and we have a set world for him to interact in, objects to pick up, mini games to play for money. Hello there, friend, and you made I don't know if you're going to have a great time here in Sim Valley. Before you get all settled in, do you want any help playing the game? Nope. Yeah, I have such a smart family. And speaking of family, didn't your mother send you here with a little gift for me? Did she tell you to get acquainted with me before running off? Oh, brother. So, in... If you say, no, I don't need the tutorial, their first response is, are you sure you don't need the tutorial? So let's see, we'll give him a family album. And we will, you know, try to make nice with him until... Try to keep a cozy home. Are you getting used to your surroundings? Sort of, you know. Yeah, let's <laughs> see. Nothing we can do right now. That seems to be about all of the 
increased disposition we can get out of him. So let's head into the house, take care of a few needs before we get into any mini-gaming. Okay, so this is just the basic house. Later on we will get, you know, our own house in which we can actually decorate it ourselves and such. Okay, taking the shower. And here in this version of The Sims, these meters are more nuisances and annoyances to have to deal with that sort of impede other things going on in the game. Basically the rest of the game is more like an actual game with objectives and goals and people to interact with, <laughs> such sort like that. So, you know, we have that going for it. I don't really honestly think we're going to get a 100% playthrough, but I think we can get pretty far with a lot of the minigame grinding being done off-screen. Now, oh, let's see, are you going to give me my first job? Okay, moving into the barn. Oh, Oop, didn't like that. Uh -huh. That one he did enjoy. this disposition up as much as we can. Oh, jeez. And we can already ask him to move in with us. That is a thing. Once you get any of the characters, well, no, most of the characters, up to a certain level of disposition, you can ask them to move in with you. So, yeah. That'll be good for now. Okay, so let's head to the backyard, get all the junk he has lying around for us. So we get a rooster statue, a basic bed, beat up old crap couch. No, we don't get a squirrel, unfortunately. Let's try and repair. There we go. Crappy old television. Refrigerator. Anything else back here? Should be... Nope, I guess we just, um, bathe in the river and let our waste fall where it is going to. And yes, that whole sim speak, whatever the hell it's called. They have fragments of it here, but really not much. Wow, so this is our new pad. Top of a barn, but at least it has a phone. Just go ahead and... Yep, so that'll be all for that. Just gotta put all the things down. And yes, we're going to get a goal complete for every single one of them. Let's shove that out there. Put the television over there, why not? Not in a place where we can watch it from the couch, but that's okay, because in this world you cannot watch TV from the couch.
Okay, so now we will probably get the first job. So I mean he's not asleep. Grow. Nope, he's not Grow. asleep. Huh. Huh. Yeah, we already did that. Uh -huh. Okay, so uh -huh. more disposition. Uh -huh. Disposition, disposition. Huh. Eh, nothing yet. Huh. Let's try this huh. one. Okay. <laughs> Huh. Eleven uh -huh. uncles? What the hell? Oh. Oh. Huh. Oh. Anyway, <laughs> that's quite enough of that. Let's get out to the tractor. Damn good thing we have the speed up button. Grow, grow. Huh. Now we get to do the first job. Huh. Between 5 a.m. and 7 p.m. Last of this disposition. Huh? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. There we go. Okay, so don't really have to do anything else with him for a very long time now. Although I probably should be paying attention to my needs, shouldn't I? first. Like I said, you know, the needs just sort of get in the way of playing the game. And as mentioned, very, very good thing, well, yes, very, very good thing that we have. There we go, okay that we do indeed have the speed button. We'll just shack out here. There we go. And yes, you can die of boredom, of not being entertained. Oh, and I need to actually be dancing to it in order to be entertained. There we go. Just for the sake of it, switch to disco. Um, no, this this is not really disco in any mean of the in in any uh in, in any viewing of the definition or any by any means of the definition. Okay, now it's starting to get to it. Oh well. Turn it off for now. Don't need to bother with that nonsense any longer. Let's go back out to this. Time for our first minigame. So yes, we go around hitting all of these various grass things. Can't really, you know sharp turns, or... No, we can't go backwards, either. And they will pop up at random throughout the yard. There is no real... being done, it's more... Oh, and you're not supposed to hit the flowers, of course. But they also pop up at random, so, you know. And it's the first minigame, so you don't earn all that much money on it. But all of the minigames have levels where once you have done them to a certain amount, you will be able to unlock later levels that 
allow you to make a little bit more money at a little bit higher difficulty. Etc. etc. Basic minigame schlock. And yeah, this is like half the game is playing these mini games to earn money so you can go and buy things and, you know, progress the objectives. Kind of a fun little song now. Very peppy. Very upbeat. And with this mini game there is no real way to do amazingly well, it's just that you manage to hit all the grass and none of the flowers. Rocks don't really matter one way or the other, they don't take away that much time. So we are now up to two. And if we so desired, we could immediately go back and get up to I think each minigame has five levels, but, you know, don't really care much. And his disposition is still at 100, so like I said, over time it will lower down slightly, but hey, there's a thing. That's one of the uh, thing of things, the, yes, the collectibles. All of these collectibles are things that you can Trade in somewhere for extra cash. Not very much extra cash, but you know, just a bit. It helps. And there are just those five things that I just displayed just sort of all around the place, anywhere you might find them randomly appearing. And yes, the fact that there are three-eared mice and nuclear rods does tie into the rest of the story. I guess we're gonna have to go further to find those chickens. Oh, never mind, no we're not. How about that? There was a toilet out here for me, after all. That's really it, just those two. That was the whole objective. Oops. Doesn't pay attention, click through too fast. I guess that wasn't it. Another person over there, so we'll just wander a bit. What do you say? I'm not actually going to bother with getting all the people up to 100 on camera. That's something that can easily be done off camera because it's pretty boring to watch. I definitely can Oh, there's one. Hey, you bastard. There. That should do it. And that still is not it. Just double check the barn. I still hear chickens, but I'm pretty sure that would just be the ambient noises in that general place. So let's go back to wandering aimlessly. <laughs> because, you know, I don't know how else we can locate the chickens. I don't think he mentioned specific locations. There. You better not have to canvas the entire city for this. Just look around in this area. Another new person. Bucky Brock. Most of the sim names are either total stereotypes or puns. Oh, there's her again. Yeah. One more chicken. Uh, 
down, here's a shop. Oh, never mind, here's the auction. And that one there is the bar, I believe. Passing up all sorts of characters we could be introducing ourselves to, but don't really care. Yeah, cut that out. And that's still not all of the freaking... Okay, let's actually check the objectives. Eight chickens, so yes, we have to find two more chickens yet. We got some more collectibles, at least. Good for a little bit more cash later on. Where the hell is that final chicken? And that's just going back the same way. I think we've checked basically everywhere. Don't know where else we can look. Also, I like how we never get tired. Or, you know, other than the tiredness meter, but, you know, we never have to stop and catch our breath or anything along that nature. We can just keep running. Okay, what the hell? Where is this freaking chicken? we'll continue on with the search later on. And I think it's about time to check the stupid walkthrough, because I'm not entirely certain where else I can look at this point. go to our crappy television for entertainment. There we go. And back to the house for the shower, because we have a toilet, Grow. but no shower. Grow. And yeah, once you get to certain points, people will not interact with you. Let's check the backyard one last time, since we did not really give it a thorough search before. Okay, never mind, nothing there. That is seven, what the hell is number eight? Okay, walk through checking. Okay, it is the type of FAQ that has different sections for things, so like, rather than putting the chicken locations in the main FAQ, where, you know, you're actually scrolling down and reading through the FAQ, they have it in its own section for, like, 
a separate section on where the chickens are located. That's kind of mind-boggling. I can't imagine why they wouldn't simply put it in the FAQ itself. Anyways... Got those two... Got those two... Inside the bar. Okay. I had not gone into the bar yet. Only other location I suppose I should have... Stop that. I suppose I should have actually tempted to look in there. I figured, well, no, inside a building, the game wouldn't be that stupid. But yes, apparently it is. There we go. Takes care of that, finally. Okay, and... Next objective was finding the detective, I think. One moment. For Detective Dan, and kind of amazed that they went with that name, but you know, I guess it works out. All I can think about is the character Detective Dan from uh, All That. Oh, what was his name? Josh Server, I think, played the character. Dan D. Man. Wow. And then we could improve his, uh, disposition, but we're not gonna bother with that just yet. Wow. Much of the objectives of the game are simply going from sim to sim. And as mentioned, these things will just randomly accumulate. No real rhyme or reason to when they will appear, although usually things will appear in the same general area repeatedly, so, you know, after a day or two passes you can go back to various spots and find the exact same things in the exact same spots. Sell that. Oh, never mind then. Let's find a place that does purchase this. There we go. And all they have is food. They need food at the moment. Hey, Tiger, this is The Sims busting out. Oh, didn't want to talk to the detective, thank you. We don't have enough money for that. Or that, either. Wow. Freaking expensive. Hmm, one moment. Okay, so we can either do... Can we even do this one yet? No, we cannot. So, we also have not yet unlocked the recyclable area where we can return those various things for money, so 
the only thing we can do for more cash is more madness. <laughs>